All right, John. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, cool. How much, how much voltage? 15,000 volts. Cool. I think there's a, there's a, um, there's a, um, a space in the middle. Yeah, yeah it's, it's odd. Or is it just a way it's, of viewing it? It's interesting that it's trying to go to the side of the glass. Why? I don't know. That's, sure. pre that's pretty impressive. How much, how much suction? Oh, whatever that fridge compressor can pull, I don't know what I don't know what the vacuum voltage uh, would actually be. Yeah. There's changing colour as the vacuum increases. Yep. That's right. It's kind of strange how it's. Um... It seems to be a leak there, Paul. Probably. Oh, That's prob probably why. I don't know if there's a leak. Sure. So I've never I've never driven it over that distance before. There is no there is no, there is no gap there. It's just uh, diffraction from the from the curvature of the glass. Oh, is it? Re refraction. Yeah. You sure? Yep. This looks like it, but it's not actually. Yeah, because. Uh, no, 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 I think there is a gap there. Is that long? Yeah. Um, on that plate. Don't touch the plate. Plate's hot. Okay. Is it? The other end, the the top of the <coughs> thing's hot. Cool. Yeah. So, will it work as a plasma globe then? It is. It is. I think. It, it should do. Is. Yes. Because, um, but um, it needs a high frequency supply for that. Look, glass is, glass is really thick, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so um, I think that's one of them. Yeah, we've got, our, we've got our, our, our vacuum arc. You sure? No, it's AC. Oh, yeah? yeah? It's deflecting it. You can definitely drive it around. Yep. Yeah. Hey, change it. Yep. Yeah. Mind you, it could be just. Your capacitance to ground. Well, just use oh, the look, other you, end. No, you, can, you can see the arc split, see? Yeah, yeah. You can see the arc splits? Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, so the negative side goes one side and the positive yeah, goes the other right. for the AC signal. Right. Cool. So, why don't you put it near the gap? Is the gap look, look, the gap's got wider when you do that. You made the gap wider for a second there. Is that got it? It's got a foil on it, um, Paul. It has? Yeah. Is there any foil on it? No, no, no it's, just a, uh, it's, just a, it's just a bolt. Oh, no, no. I imagine it would slowly, slowly um, the arc would slowly disappear. But as that, as that vacuum was coming down, if I can hear that through my speakers, it just, I suppose it just depends on how fast the um, vacuum disappears. It might take quite a while, actually. Actually, it looks like there's actually definitely two arcs in there, two distinct paths that it's taking. You know, I can actually see a gap in the middle. Yeah, it's the AC side and the DC side, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, not the, the negative side. No, the the pull, positive side. Pull. It, it actually, it, it repels because it's the same as the armature winding on a, on a, on a DC motor. I think it must be, yeah. Yeah, like it's, yeah, it's, just a, like it's, a, it's a current path. Like yeah. it's current and um, it's just... Yeah. just and because it's, it's AC, it, um, it, right it, rule. Yeah, it's right. going, trying to split in both directions, that's why it splits. Why is it not taking the shortest path? Oh, look, we've got two, two branches. I think it likes the capacitance of the outside world. Oh, that's right. The, the outside world is the shortest path because there's impurities on the inside of the glass. Now, if we actually put that off and put a, a small object in the middle there, yeah. you could probably get it to um, definitely strike on that because that would be the lowest. But it's more pretty going that way. It is, isn't it? It slowly wanders around the base. There is no, there is no split now. Yeah, this. There's still two out. Oh, there he goes. Lost our um. Oh, you know what would be cool to do, Paul? Have you, have you Why don't you use one of my green LEDs? So it's a as far as you, um, <laughs> you're, uh, you've, you've uh, changed the probe. Yeah, I thought I'd just bring it down a bit so it would take the hot spot further away from the, the vacuum inlet. Yeah, that's much brighter, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a purpley blue. Was there burning marks in the plate before? I don't know. Well, it is now. <laughs> Maybe it's depositing copper on the plate or something. There's definitely some hot spots for me. Uh, can't see very much with the camera. That's perfect. Yeah. Is there enough vacuum? Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> I think the vacuum probably keeps on increasing though. God, look how hot the electrode's getting. Yeah. That's getting toasty. 
Yeah, one's getting well tasty. There's a lot of gas building up now on the top. Well, there's different colours. Look, going, the top, look, the top of it's going black it's too. It's going from blue to yellow. Yeah. Maybe it's build, I might be building up carbon deposits on the top, I think, maybe. I think you've got a different gas mixture as, oh, as it goes up. I don't know what's in the flux cleaner. You, you got a, you definitely got a different gas mixture um, relative to the height of it. Well, whatever's 